six indigenous Greenpeace delegates cast off the shores of Vancouver this morning on a historic journey to oppose Arctic oil drilling and protect coastal waters. I'm just so incredibly honored to be on the Esperanza as a guest of Greenpeace, to be a, a delegate, to go up to the Haida Gwaii and to meet with the Haida Gwaii people. This mission is the first time we have a collective of Aboriginal Indigenous people coming together for the common cause to address Arctic oil. For 10 days, the delegates will sail to BC's coastal communities to raise awareness about increased oil spill risks to the coastline should Shell receive license to drill in Alaska from U.S. authorities. Bringing together teachings and stories from the Squamish, Shishoth, Musqueam, Haida, Anishinaabe and Cree nations, the Greenpeace Arctic campaign is hoping to spearhead a new kind of climate activism. These six delegates on board are, are connecting these stories and bringing these stories together. While everyone's been busy fighting the tar sands on the coast, Shell has been sneaking up, getting into position to drill for oil in Alaska. Now, this is a, a crisis of global concern. Uh, this is unburnable oil. We should not be drilling for and burning this oil. We need to begin switching instead to a clean, green, renewable energy economy. And the more that we're putting money and priority into these dirty oil projects, the, the further back we're setting that. Arctic oil drilling could result in hundreds of new oil tankers sailing down BC's coastline on their way to U.S. terminals in Washington. And if even one should have an accident like the Exxon Valdez did in 1989, it would have devastating environmental consequences, says the delegation. What most people may or may not know is that already 20 tankers travel and ship oil down the coastline. We already are in danger. And if Shell were to be successful in their, their bid to drill Arctic oil, that should be a concern to all people on the coast and within this country. We can't just keep playing whack-a-mole with these dirty energy projects, that we need to address it in a much bigger, much more holistic way if we have any hope of stabilizing the global climate and shifting towards a clean, green, renewable energy future. Tamar Kozlov, Shechef News, Vancouver.